Let's talk about order of operations. Uh, it's very tempting to just read this straight across, 6 plus 9 divided by 3 minus 2 times 3. Um, because that's how we read <coughs> prose, and we read writing. But in math, it's not quite like that. There is a set of conventions called order of operations that tell us the order to resolve things in. Um, the, the acronym that we learn is PEMDAS, Parentheses, Exponents, Multiplication, Division, Addition, and Subtraction. And basically what that tells us is that we start by dealing with anything in parentheses, then uh, move on to exponents, um, and then multiplication and division. Uh, they are actually tied, so we move across multiplication and division left to right. Um, and then addition and subtraction, which are also tied, and we do left to right. So if we take a look at this, Here's the main area where we're likely to become confused. 6 plus 9 divided by 3. Um, if we go left to right, 6 plus 9 is 15, divided by 3 would be 5. But that's incorrect because order of operations tells us that division and multiplication come before addition and subtraction. So 9 divided by 3 is 3, and then 6 plus 3 is 9. Um, so this becomes, oops, 9 divided by 3 is 3, and then it's 6 plus 3, like that. Um, now, before we even do that, though, we should have actually gone over and taken a look at the parentheses. It doesn't affect it in this case, but good habit, always start with parentheses. 2 times 3 is 6. So now we have 6 plus 3 minus 6, um, and because this is addition and subtraction, we can now just go left to right. 6 plus 3 is 9, and then minus 6, and 9 minus 6 is 3. Um, the, recognizing this is just a matter of practice. Uh, one other thing to be aware of is that the square bracket, like this, 2 plus uh, 2 times 6 minus 5 or 5 plus 2 and square bracket um, has to be resolved like this. Square brackets are parentheses so we know we are looking in this area and then there's a parenthesis inside that so we go even closer and just look at that one, 5 plus 2 is 7, and we have 2 times 6 minus 7, all in parentheses, and then that's, we add that to 2, and, and then that's 2 plus, we do the multiplication from before the subtraction, so that's 12 minus 7, and that's equal to 2 plus 5, which equals 7. Um, pretty straightforward stuff. One of the confusing things with PEMDAS, that acronym, is that multiplication, division, and are tied, and addition and subtraction are tied. Um, but that's not clear right in the acronym. I think I did a very poor job explaining that at, when we first started learning about this. Um, and it's easy to make mistakes if you don't know that. So anytime you see multiplication, division, or addition, and subtraction, do just take them in the order they appear. But it's when you can see it the most is with problems that have a combination of uh, multiplication, division, with addition and subtraction. So here we have 6 divided by 2 minus 1. Um, Actually, this will give us the same either way, because if we go right across, it's 6 divided by 2 minus 1. But order of operations tells us to do the same thing. 6 divided, division becomes a force subtraction, so we have 3 minus 1, which equals 2. Here's another one, 9 minus 6 divided by 2. Here we see what the impact can be. We have to do 6 divided by 2 first, so that's 3, and it's 9 minus 3, which equals 6. If I did it the wrong way, and I did 9 minus 6 which is 3 divided by 2 would be 3 halves. That's incorrect. The answer is 6. Eventually, this will become automatic. Um, 
the thing is to remember that it's out there and remember that you have to resolve things in a particular order. Um, it'll also help you with writing your own expressions. Make sure that you write it out in a way that obeys the order of operations, or rather that you'll solve it in an order of operations um, obeying way. Uh, the, there's n no, as far as I know, special math reason for why the order of operations are what they are, um, but there just has to be a system um, so that we know how to read math, because that's really what this is, is it's the rule for reading math and how to interpret the expressions that are written. Um, make, make sure that you do the practice homework for this, because... Like I said, I think this is something where we got a little bit confused when I was first explaining it, and I hope this has cleared it up. Um, so one last time, the acronym to remember is PEMDAS, and the thing to remember about it is that parentheses are first, followed by exponents, then multiplication and division, then addition and subtraction, like that. One, two, three, four. Um, if you have any questions about this, please please ask me, uh, since this is such an important topic. All right, thanks for watching.